Hello, and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take these textures that you can see here, and we're going to use those to make a couple of different obelisks. So, let's get started. Okay then, the first thing we'll need to do is glue the small sides of the obelisk to some double corrugated cardboard, and, as you can see, I've glued them at a 45 degree angle to the corrugation itself, so that, when we cut them out, we get a strong corrugated edge on all four sides. Next, we'll glue the two larger sides of the obelisk to some thin card, and uh, again, we'll just cut those to size as well. There you go. Okay then, now we'll just need to glue those together. So, I like to start by applying some hot glue to the edge of one of the corrugated pieces, and, uh, and then stick one of the thinner sides into place, so that we end up with a corner piece that looks something like this. Then, we'll do a similar thing with the other corrugated piece. So... There you go, and, uh, and then it's just a matter of sticking on the final side. And, as you can see, I find this works best if I glue on the top part first, and when that's in the right place, I'll then move on to the bottom part. And uh, I am trying to make sure that I get nice sharp corners. And with any luck, that should result in this kind of thing. So, as you can see, that's the main part of the obelisk done. Okay, next we'll glue the star-shaped texture to some more thin card, but before we cut it out, we'll first need to score it along these lines here. Then, we can cut it to size. And for this part of the assembly, we'll also take a regular drinking straw, and from that, we'll need to cut a piece that's around a quarter of an inch long. Right then, now we'll just need to bend the card along those scored lines that I mentioned earlier, and we'll then take the glue gun and add a blob of hot glue to the centre of the untextured side and stick the straw in the middle so that we end up with something that looks a bit like this. Okay, next we'll just need to add a blob of hot glue to the top of the straw and all around the top edge so that when we fold the little triangular shapes into a point that's what the inside of those triangles are going to be sticking to if that makes sense. And when that's dry, it should hopefully result in a little pyramid shape, like the one that you can see here. So, if I bring the main part of the obelisk back in, and do a quick test fit, um, all that's left to do is apply some more hot glue to the top of the obelisk, and stick the little pyramid into place. And if everything has gone according to plan, this is how it should look. Though, we are going to make a base for this, so we'll do that next. Okay then, so... For that base, we'll first glue one of the square shapes to some foam core or similar, and uh, when that's dry, we'll cut it to size. And we'll also need to cut out a strip of the plain stone texture that's the same thickness as the foam core itself. Then it's just a simple matter of applying some glue to the back of this strip, and using that to cover the exposed edges of the foam core. So that, when it's all done, it ends up looking something like this. Then we can do the exact same thing again for the other square piece as well. And, as you've probably guessed, we'll just need to glue the smaller one on top of the larger one, just using a regular glue stick. And that should result in a nice little plinth, like you can see here. Okay then, so, if I bring in the obelisk again, all we'll need to do to finish the whole thing off is glue the obelisk on top of the plinth, which is exactly what you can see me doing here. And there you go, there's the finished piece. And uh, while this will obviously work well as a monument above ground, um, I don't think it would look too out of place in a dungeon as well. Plus, I've also included a kind of evil, more sinister looking version, so there's actually two different ones to choose from. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this episode, so here's the usual picture of them in action, and for a relatively quick project, I think they look okay. So. Thanks for watching, um, as always, I'll look forward to seeing what you have to say about these in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.